Good day. Uh, yeah, so yesterday I uh, was a little busy and uh, well, I had uh, about uh, three and a half hours of streaming uh, playing uh, some uh, survival. And I, after that, I had lunch and came into the barn. And so you saw the video. I'll put a card up. Uh, you saw the video with regards to um, uh, the pounding of the sand and all that stuff. And after that, I you, you there's a picture of the three footings that I put down for uh, the uprights. So this is what I did yesterday. I forgot my phone, so I was going to bring it in yesterday and take pictures while I was doing it and uh, show the process. But I forgot my phone. It was on the charger in the house, and I... I just kept on working instead. So this is what I did yesterday. So I went up and <laughs> cleared a lot of the stuff that was up there. There was a bed frame. See, it's right there. Bed frame, piece of styrofoam, uh, some pieces of metal, a two by four. See, there's a T-bar, a metal T, uh, aluminum T-bar here. Not sure what I'm going to use it for. Anyway, there's that. There was... Uh, bunch of other stuff but what what i'm very happy about is uh the support i built for the uh for the barn ceiling here for the so we're going up there when we go up there was a lot of bounce in that floor if you look at it it's uh true two by six but the span is so freaking long that's almost almost uh 20 feet of span right there and there's no uprights in the middle of it. So I put these four by fours over here, middle and over there. Uh, the reason why it's not even, it's because I oopsed. But it's a good oops, actually. I, I oops, I put that one first thinking, oh, good, I got support there. But look, it's over here. It should have been, right? That's not a biggie. Because we're going to put another one right here. But being the long weekend and everything around here is closed, I'm going to put a uh, another 4x4 four four to support this over here. And that will give us fencing area. Uh, this one, the first one over here near the window, is the demarcation for where I'm standing, where the goats are going to be. And beyond that post is the uh, the chicken coop with that door. This post here is going to be the corner post. So from here to this wall over there where the ladder is, is going to be the fence for the chicken coop and the coop, uh, the, 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 the stall for the goats on this side. Between the two of them here, and it's a good thing that they're narrow, is going to be the man gate, basically for us to go through into the goat pen. And the fence will resume over here. So this will be an open, closed gate over here, so for us to go in the pen over there. The next thing I'm doing now is electrical work. Uh, so yeah, I'm just coiling the wires up there for, uh, for now. I'm going to shorten the wires. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that light outside is uh, nasty. Uh, yeah, so basically the, the outlet was at this level, but it's perfect height for goat chewing. So we're going to put them up there because we're still going to be using these uh, outlets. Same shows over here. See, these ones are open because I already took them off the wall here, took them off the stud. So I'm going to jack them up. All the way up there, uh, I'm gonna invert them so that the switch is lower than the, lower than the, uh, the the outlet because the switch the light over here is fed by the power going to this power outlet. So I'm gonna invert them so that the switch is a little easier access for shorter people, but not so short that the chicken will get at them. Then I have this uh, GFI uh, to move up. Again, it will be moved uh, slightly above that white bar there or just below that. 
and that outlet same it'll be going all the way up there so that's what i'm going to be doing today and i'll keep you guys updated maybe and if i have time i'll be working on a lamp uh, i have to refurbish a lamp for our our um our uh, dining room or a kitchen room a kitchen table it's this little chandelier that uh, hang is going to hang a over our kitchen table so there uh, it's a tree light uh, that needs to be rewired because it was it's old and it was outside uh, for a while so I de-rusted it took the old uh, fa uh, oh, faucets the old uh, sockets out and I'm, I just got to put new sockets rewire it and it should be good to go good as new so when the electricians are coming to gonna do our ceiling light in the kitchen they could install that one at the same time talk to you later good morning happy 7th of uh, september today is my grandson's birthday happy birthday torn anyway um and it's also work shy guy's birthday happy birthday buddy so today i had to lose weight so i cut my facial and head hair and I uh, must have lost a couple pounds. The uh, next thing I did, I came into the barn and I finished up the, some of the electrical so we could see a little more in here. I'll show you what I did yesterday. I just noticed that. Yesterday, I put all those things up there so that they're out of reach of the beasties, the GFIs up there, that's thing up there, yeah. And today, this morning, I did heavy electrical thing. I put that light up there. Yeah, it was really, really hard. I ran an extension cord to down there because <laughs> because I couldn't use my I couldn't I couldn't uh, find my chummy that plugs into the light outlet. And I took the door out, or what used to be the door. As you can see, here's the boards. Beautiful boards. And I got another one right there that was in that pile right there. And there's more boards. I'm missing three freaking centimeters. So most likely I'm going to use that as the, the door frame, the framing. So yeah, uh, got all the, all the boards out. All I have to do is frame a door and make it look like a door. And that's about it. I'll see. Yep. Boop. There you go. So I'll see you guys uh, next time. Cheers. Good morning, afternoon, wherever, whenever. Uh, it is morning for me. Okay, this is uh, update. It's part of the update number three of the barn. Uh, as you saw previously earlier in this video, that I I, I made a uh, door opening it's very windy i'm gonna go inside okay now you can't see me there you go okay so uh made a door opening for the uh for the goats to go in and out and yesterday basically i uh made a door frame for it i would have done the pictures of the door frames process but it took me a long time to figure it out. <laughs> so uh, let's reverse. There you go. So what I did is I uh, took some old door frames, and that's one piece. This this piece here. Oops. Don't need that fourth finger there. So we well, still have fourth finger. Anyway, so this piece here goes from here all the way to here and it's one solid piece and you look at it it's been mitered uh, mitered whatever it got that little so it's one big large piece that's this wide and what I did is I added this piece this morning the door stopper the door jam so that's what I got done yesterday 
So there you go. Let's see the header. Et voila. Yep. And now I measure I measured from this area all the way to the door jam for every piece of lumber that I've recuperated from that opening and I cut them the size. So that's will be my door. This this part here will be my door. So now I have to do a I have to uh, make a uh, the Z feature on it. I'll show you the other door. You guys might know what I'm talking about. So there you go. So I have to do the the structure for the 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 planks there to hold it together and then install it on the install it in the hole so that we don't just have a hole but we have a door the other thing I've been doing is uh, fencing so uh, Jenny and JR are, are bringing these posts that's got the bark on it so what we're doing is uh, using those posts to make the fence, the interior fence. So since they're not long enough, what I've been doing is uh, cutting them to length so that they would go to the center post here, to that post right there. And I've been doing this to them. So just cutting a bit off so it would fit, sit flush ish to the uh the beam see as you can see over here so that way they sit, they sit a little more flush to the beams and it makes it easier to screw in and yeah so i got about let's say one two three four five Maybe six more posts, uh, more rows to put up. Well, six altogether, four more rows to do. So that's my project for today. First thing I got to do is finish that door so that the animals could come in on Sunday. And it looks like we might be getting chickens earlier than Sunday because, uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to have chickens earlier than Sunday. So now I have to get my ass in gear. That's why you're not getting a lot of videos from me. Well, not of updates. There, you get these blurb bit by bit. So hopefully I get more updates, more frequent updates per video. All right. See you later. Hey, it's the end of the day. It was morning when I first talked. This is the end of the day. I finished that door. I'm kind of happy with it. It's uh, actually looking good. The uh, only thing is like it's it's got to sit because I built it on a crooked, uh, slightly off, not really planed uh, surface. So obviously it's going to be off when I because I screw it's all screwed in together. So this is what it looks like. So that's the drawer, and I'm not worried about the. Uh, the glare on the outside because where we're at right now it's not a biggie if there's a bit of rain or a bit of snow that drifts in true but it's freaking solid uh we figure it's at least 250 pounds <laughs> it, it's heavy it's a heavy door so yeah so we have a handle on the outside we're going to put another handle on the inside and we have a hook and eye up there we'll have another hook and eye on the bottom eventually when we get it so that is the that is the door that is the door um next items on the hit list are chicken coops so that we could uh, um bring the chickens in so over there i see you got all that wire you got a couple bundles of wires and stuff so where the saw is that's the door that the chickens are going to be using and that is going to be all the way up to here and that's the next project i think unless somebody else tells me i have to do something else
That'd be them something else. That'd be, that'd be, the, that'd be the people telling me what I have to do. Management team. Yeah. Logistics and management. I pick things up and I put them down. Operations. Also. <laughs> okay, guys. Anyway, uh, if you like what you saw, you know what to do. You know, the, that little... Okay, I'm upside down, so it'd be reverse. So the thumbs up would be over here. The dingly bell will be over here and the subscribes at the bottom. And I'll probably put a card up here somewhere with the uh, previous videos in case you haven't seen it. Cheers.